good to see you. Today, we are back with another one of these little bags of jewelry from Miss Carol, a subscriber who sent me this lovely box with all kinds of goodies in it and four bags of jewelry. This is uh, the second bag. We did the first bag already, and I'm going to try to alternate whispering and soft-spoken with these bags. And so, another cool thing, too, is that we have this little list of things that we're looking for. It's like a little scavenger hunt. And we actually found two things in the last bag. Can you find the following? A lilac chandelier, a lilac chandelier earrings, adjustable mixed material necklace with blue strand, two stacks of books, uh, a seahorse, which we found last time, any item that reminds you of Jacob Marley, a scarab, which we found last time, and a pair of lucite earrings. So I like to keep my list nearby. So if we see any of the items that we haven't checked off yet, which we have to check off, um, I can check them off the list. So I, I want to keep that in mind. So we have this nice little bag and it's, it is full. It is like filled to the brim with goodies. I haven't looked at it in advance. I wanted to wait till we were together to look at all these items. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna sort of fold this back and get it ready. Oh, okay, there we go. So, I got the bag open and it's so full, everything just starts coming out. This looks cool. What is this? This is, um, it's a little spinny, it's a little spinning thing. If I could get my fingers away from it. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, and here's a little one. If I wore this as a pendant, I'd be doing that all day long. <laughs> this is plastic. It looks like polished hmm, seashell, maybe. But these are plastic pieces. The links are plastic. And this piece in here is plastic as well. It's very pretty, though. Look how smooth it is. The color is beautiful. I don't know what this would have been. Maybe part of a necklace? I would say it's probably part of a necklace or something like that. Okay, we have a serpentine silver chain and that's funny because I actually have a serpentine uh, chain that is very similar to this one. Um, actually mine I think is a little bit wider but it's very similar. Okay. I had to stop to let Evie in. She wanted to come hang out with me. <laughs> She's on the floor over here purring violently. <laughs> She's so happy to be here. So we do. We have this nice silver chain. Oh, this is very pretty. Let's see how long it is. We have some adjustable chain here. This is sterling. Wait a minute. No, it's from Claire's. It's actually Claire's. I like this, though. And I have some silver polish that could make that look even shinier than it already does. So with this necklace, we have a small silver lobster claw clasp. About two inches of adjustable chain right there. And then on the end of it, we have this little tab here that says Claire's. There's a little bit of a knot in the adjustable chain. And I have found that to get these out, you can do it. It just takes patience. Usually I'll just try to lay it out on a table or something. And I just take my fingernails and you just kind of, you kind of, you just kind of have to do it by feel. You just kind of pick at it and try to open it up. Sometimes I can get it right away and sometimes I have to work at it. <laughs> It just takes a little bit of patience, but with a chain like that, it's you just have to kind of feel your way through. Well, I'll get that later. That's okay. This is a pretty little necklace. Look at that. Yeah, it has a Claire's 
tab on it. And we have, oh, look at these earrings. These are from Paparazzi. You can see the little name up there. These are pretty. The wire is kind of a copper color. And look at these pretty beads. These are wooden beads, the brown ones. The blue ones are like plastic beads, but they are made to look like turquoise. I really like the combination of colors, the brown and that turquoise. I think that's really, really pretty together. These are pierced earrings, as you can see. But I can convert those to clip-ons very easily. I may actually keep these. I like these. I want to keep this necklace, too. I really like that. I love silver jewelry. I have a lot of it. And then, look at these big balls. They're cool to the touch. These are made of plastic, these brown ones here, and these uh, metallic looking ones. And these darker blue balls. <laughs> I got three balls, look at that, three blue balls. These are made out of wood, and the lighter ones are plastic. And then in between them, we have these nice little seed beads in brown and light blue. Little, little discs, look at that. Those are made of plastic as well. They look like metal, though. How long is this necklace? We have this one end here. It looks like we're missing perhaps a clasp or the adjustable chain. Like that. So we have... Here it is. Look at this. This is from New York and Company. I really like their stuff. I've seen so many necklaces in the Goodwill jewelry bags that had the little New York and Company little tab on it, and I really like them. This one is quite stylish. We have these little brown plastic beads back here coming all the way back. It's quite a bit. It's a long necklace. And then we have a small silver lobster claw clasp and about an inch of adjustable chain that could just be attached right here little repair. Yeah, this nice, long, pretty necklace. I like the colors. These would go perfectly with these paparazzi earrings. You have the brown and the blue. They would look nice, but this is from New York and Company. These did not come together as a set. You know, typically with paparazzi, from what I've seen, you get a pair of earrings and a necklace that matches. It looks like this has been cut, like there was something up here at one point, but now I just have the earrings. I think they would look really nice with this necklace. I like that dark brown with the blue. I think that's really pretty. It's very nice. I have found... I think we saw this other earring in the other bag. It's a little dangle earring. Here's the earring part up here. We have this little cluster, remember? The other bag, there was an earring in there that looked like grapes. I said it looked like a cluster of, of grapes, and these kind of do. Now what I wondered was, when I found this other earring in the other bag, is that the lilac chandelier, is that the pair of lilac chandelier earrings? It's a little recipe card. <laughs> That's why we have corn and strawberries. I don't know what kind of recipe you would have. You have corn, strawberries, an orange, a lemon, and another strawberry. Kind of, I don't know. Are these the lilac chandelier earrings? I'm not sure. I'm not going to check it off yet because I'm not sure that it is. Oh gosh, do you remember these necklaces? Look at this. I had several of these when I was a kid, and I thought I had, like, I was the height of fashion because I had some of these little plastic necklaces. Remember they have the little, the little cylinder here? It's um, made out of this sort of a different type of plastic, but you can stick it in there, and you can pull it apart. And these necklaces come in different colors. This is a pretty red one. They look like little cough drops or something. Little Luden's cough drops or Tessalon pearls if they were yellow. Have you ever taken Tessalon pearls for a cough? Yeah, pearls was spelled P-E-R-L-E-S on the prescription probably. I worked in retail pharmacy and I 
helped fill a lot of prescriptions for that stuff. Oh yes. Oh, look at this. Is this... What is this? Oh, it's an earring. Look at this. That's an interesting earring. So up here is the little, the little earring part right here. And it has this... It almost looks like a... a what is it? A treble clef? The music note? I'm not a music person. I don't know. Kind of reminds me of that. And then below that, we have a black bead and then a, a little, oh, this, is, this bead has tiny rhinestones on it, just above that, and then a piece of folded fabric. It's a tiny piece of folded fabric above that. We have a bead that looks like wood, but it's actually plastic, and it looks like it's carved, like there's a little rose carved into it. That is such an interesting earring. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen an earring quite like that. I almost feel like it has some sort of significance to the pieces here, but I don't know if they do. I've never seen a piece of folded up fabric in an earring like that. And then beneath that you can see the little, the piece that has the rhinestones on it. Very sparkly. I like the way it catches the light. Very interesting earring. We have part of a necklace, I believe. There's an earring. You can see here that we have this filament. It's kind of like fishing line. It's clear. And there's a knot tied in it so these beads cannot escape. These are pretty. These... These are glass. These are glass beads. These little black square beads. These are glass. I think fairly certain it is glass. And then in between them we have these little metallic beads. They look like silver, but they're plastic. And then these little black plastic beads too. Back here, back here we have, here is a small silver lobster claw clasp and about two and a half inches of adjustable chain. And it looks like, unfortunately, this necklace broke at some point. So, but you can make a little bracelet out of that. That's cute. Here's a little earring. It has just one little link, a silver link right here. And here's the earring part that you put in your piercing. Nice. Oh, this is a very cute earring. Look, at, I thought it was a little coin at first. It has a little birdie on it. A bird sitting on a branch. Look at him. He's cute. I think I'm going to hang on to this. I love to, to put little pendants like this on necklaces. I would make a, I'm going to make a pendant out of that. I'm going to add another couple of links up here and I'm going to make a pendant out. I love that. I'm keeping that. I'm going to make a pendant out of it. Then, we have a very cool bangle. Oh, look at this. Now this is, it looks really thick, but it's hollow and it has little holes in it. That's interesting. I like it. I wonder if that's real silver. It looks like I want to take my silver polish to this and to this necklace right here. Let's see if I can shine them up. Because now I'm curious. I want to see what I can do. That's pretty and it has like holes in it. It's a nice bracelet. Now, let's see. Now, ooh, this is... What in the world? Look at the big heart. This looks questionable. I started pulling it out and I thought... <laughs> it's a necklace. It's a necklace. Oh, isn't that pretty? Look at this big... Wow. Look at this pendant. This is attached to the back right here. This is plastic. It's very reflective. This is gorgeous. Look at this metal flower and it has a large rhinestone right in the middle. And look at these 
big, big links back here. Oh, here's a heart-shaped link. Evie just walked under my table and shook it. <laughs> She's gonna go lie down somewhere else. She's tired of listening to me now. She's going over to the other side of the room. <laughs> She's getting away from me. Let me lay this out. What an interesting necklace this is. Look at this. Oh, I like this link. This link has pretty detail on it. It has little flowers on it. Little tiny flowers. That's hard to see, but they're very small. But it has little flowers. This piece is attached here. This is wood. That's definitely a statement necklace. And you come back here. This is like faux suede back here. And it has a large silver lobster claw clasp and no adjustable chain to speak of. That's beautiful. That is very interesting. Look at this big piece. That, that would make a pretty little brooch, pretty pin. I think it would. We have some more plastic necklaces. Look at these. Oh, this is a multi-stranded necklace? Oh, this is interesting. Oh, it's long, too. Oh, my. Goodness. This looks vintage. There's a price tag on it. I think it was either... I'm not sure. Three, five, or eight dollars. I can't quite read the first number. This looks like an actual vintage necklace. We have this little hook right here that is serving us a clasp. This is how you put it together right there. And we have these three st strands of plastic beads and they're different shades of yellow. They are multifaceted little oval beads. Look how long it is, my goodness. This looks like something from the 70s to me. It really does. I'm gonna keep it. I like it. I don't have anything like this. This is so pretty. I love the fact that it has all these different shades of yellow in it. Oh, I love that. I would probably, if I were to wear it, I would probably double it over like that, though. I'm keeping that. I'm finding so many good things in here. Oh, we found the other earring. Oh, now I'm torn. Should I still make a pendant out of it or keep them and wear them as earrings? I mean, I could go either way. I think I'll keep them and wear them as earrings because I can, again, I can convert these to clip-ons very quickly. Very easily. We have a, ooh, a very pretty bracelet. It has a buckle. You can see it has this silver buckle like a cowboy belt. And little studs. These are little plastic multifaceted pieces here. Little like little rhinestones. We have two blue and one red. With this nice thick band. And it's adjustable. See, it looks like a cowboy belt. Do you remember back in the early 90s when belts like this became super popular? I had one. I remember when I was maybe late 80s, early 90s when I was in high school. I had a job and I used part of my money to buy a belt, kind of like this. I remember I bought it at this store called Maurice's in the mall and it had the little end on it like that and the buckle like this and it was really long so you would take it and fold it over behind the belt so this part was like hanging down. <laughs> Am I the only one who did that? <laughs> it was very fashionable when I was in high school. <laughs> All the cool kids were doing it. Not that I was one of the cool kids, but I'm that kid that nobody remembered. <laughs> like you go to a reunion, like you go to a high school reunion and nobody, everybody thinks you're there with somebody. <laughs> like, oh, whose wife are you? Like, I'm not. We went to school together for 12 freaking years. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember you. <laughs> you never, you didn't, you didn't talk much. Like, yeah, I know. That was me. <laughs> I was kind of invisible and that's the way I wanted it. So I was fine with that. This is another vintage necklace. If I had to guess, I would say it was because it has a little round gold clasp back here. And these, I think, were more common back in the 70s and 80s. 
but you can see that the beads gradually get larger as you come down closer to the the focal point. These beads are a pretty color. They're kind of a coral color. Very, but they're not really pink, but they're not red. I'm not quite sure what color they are, but I'll just say coral. Really pretty, and there are little knots in between each bead to kind of space them out, keep them separated. Okay, so there's no adjustable chain and there's no lobster claw clasp. But it's a very pretty color. It makes me think of makes me think of summertime and a trip to the beach. I'm gonna go to the beach. I would love to go to the beach. I don't think we're going this year though. We are going to Vegas this summer though, so I'm very excited about that. I've always wanted to go to Vegas. It's been on my bucket list for over 20 years. I'm finally doing it this summer. I'm so excited. And you know I'm going to take, you know I'm going to do video while I'm there. I will show you all kinds of stuff. I'm so excited. Okay. Oh, this is a beautiful bracelet. It's very stretchy. Now it looks like it would be heavy, but it's actually not because all of these pieces are plastic, which makes it much lighter. The pastel colors make me think of Easter. You have the blue and the little purple and yellow, and here's some blue here. It's very pretty. Look how pretty that is. It's a big, chunky bracelet. It's very pretty. But I like bracelets like this because if I wear them to work, Bangles I don't wear because they they bang against the desk and these don't really do that so I like those better. That's just me. That's my preference. We have some more paparazzi goodies in here. We have the earrings and the necklace. Look at all these swinging balls. We have all these little pendants on this necklace. These are all plastic beads. We have red and silver. This looks like a Christmas time, a Christmassy necklace to me. It's very pretty. And then we have the little matching earrings with the red beads. And we have a small silver lobster claw clasp and about three inches of adjustable chain. This was never worn. It's very pretty though. You know, I've never bought any paparazzi jewelry. I don't think I've ever seen any anywhere. It's probably for the best that I haven't because I'd probably buy a whole bunch of it. And I don't need any more jewelry, my goodness. So here, uh-oh, we have We have a multi, it's not really a multi-stranded bracelet. See, it's all one strand, but it's cut like this. Look how sparkly that is. Oh my gosh. So we have these little rhinestones on the outer layers. So pretty. And then on the inside is like a darker kind of sparkly material. This is almost like foam and see it's adjustable. So you could snap it here here. Either way, I always thought these bracelets were so pretty. I had a purple one at one point. I don't know when, what happened to it. I may still have it. But look how pretty that is. Look how sparkly. <laughs> it's so pretty. I love that. And next we have a gold necklace. This is an interesting necklace. What is this? See, I'm not smart enough to understand some necklaces. This looks like a carabiner. I think it is literally made to look like a carabiner. Look at it. So, I guess this part just hangs down. I do not understand makeup and I don't understand jewelry. This says something. My eyesight is not what it used to be. It has tiny print. Oh, it's made to look like a dog tag, name, telephone number, something, something. It's made to look like a little dog tag, I believe. So I guess you take this little gold lobster claw clasp and you attach it here. 
yeah, I think this is supposed to look like a carabiner, and then you just wear it like that. That is actually very cool. I've never seen a necklace like that. It's probably not even a necklace. Somebody is yelling at me in the comments, you idiot. That's not even what it is. That's actually very cool. I'm going to keep this because I have nothing like this. This is very neat. I'm keeping that. That's cool. Look at all the safety pins. Oh god, do you remember doing this? Taking safety pins and putting little um, beads on them like that. Do the little friendship pins. Oh my gosh. And it's made up as a watch band. And we have the watch here. It is a Geneva watch. But unfortunately the elastic is stretched out of the band. Somebody put a lot of time into that. Look at Get all these safety pins, my stars. That's crazy. So they have these beautiful dark gray beads here that made up a watch band for this watch at one point. We have another bangle here. This one has a hinge in it. And on top we have these inlaid sections with enamel in a cream color and black chevron pattern. It's pretty. You have the cream and black here and then it's just silver and then it goes back to black here. And see this kind of bangle is nice because it's a little easier to put on and take off because you can open it and close it like that. It's very pretty. I don't know who made it. There's no name in it but that's that's very cool. And I think we just found an item on our list. Look here at these. Oh, so groovy earrings. These are Lucite. And they have little pearls and little green things in them. These are the coolest little earrings. They're neat and they're not heavy at all. It reminds me, I remember that scene in Planes, Trains, and Automobiles where John Candy is, uh, Dale Griffin is his character's name. He's selling, they needed some money, so he's selling shower curtain rings in the, the bus depot, I believe it was. <laughs> and he was just making up, being a salesman, like selling them as earrings. <laughs> but they were shower curtain rings. That's an awesome movie if you've never seen it. It's really good. Planes, trains, and automobiles. It will make you laugh and it will make you cry. It's very good. I love that movie. It's one of my favorites. It's a Thanksgiving movie, kind of, but you can watch it at any time. It is rated R, though, because there's some. <laughs> the one scene when he, he rented the car and it wasn't there. <laughs> and he got up to the desk. I love that scene. Oh, my God. But it's very funny, but it does have a lot of cussing in it. <laughs> that one scene mainly is the cussing. Very good movie, sorry. But no, these are beautiful. Look at this. So, I say that is an item on our list because we have down here the very last thing. A pair of Lucite earrings. And we have found the Lucite earrings. Any item that reminds you of Jacob Marley... That doesn't make enough noise to remind me of Jacob Marley. Um, so we still need to find the lilac chandelier earrings, which I'm not sure if these are the lilac chandelier earrings or not. We're just going to keep looking, though. Stacks of books. I don't know, Jacob Marley. Adjustable mixed material necklace with blue strand. Okay, so we haven't found those yet, but we still have two more bags to go through. And we will do those on another day. These earrings are very, very cool. You know, it's when I find earrings like this that I kind of wish I had pierced ears, but that's okay. It's all right most of the time. <laughs> and I definitely like... It's all empty, see? I definitely like this necklace here. I'm keeping that for sure. And some of the other goodies, too. Like these earrings right here with the little bird. Oh, I love it. That's so cute. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed getting to see these fun little things today. 
and we have two more bags that we're going to look through and we will continue checking things off our list as we go. Thank you so much for being here. I really hope that you have a wonderful day and I will see you again really soon.